The trailer for the explosive number 12 film dropped in May 2018. Reacting, then GFA President Kwesi Nyantichi said the allegations and media reports made against him were a case of bad publicity. Well, renowned Ghanaian journalist Anas Aramayo Anas did deliver on his promise. All eyes are now on the Ghana Football Association and its ex-president Nyantichi. Bad publicity morphed into being filmed taking huge cash gifts and fraudulently using President Akufuado's name. Next came FIFA ban, then FIFA, CAF and GFA resignations. And of course, this didn't help Ghana's reputation on the international football arena. In June, video and audio recordings emerged of Mr. Nyantichi apparently participating in corrupt practices. An investigation into Nyantichi was ordered for using President Akufuado's name to secure a deal. Suffice it to say that Akufuado himself was the one to order the investigation. FIFA were also quick to react. Its ethics committee banned Nantichi from all football-related activities for at least 90 days. Mere hours after that, the GFA announced Nantichi had stepped down as its president. Nantichi had also explained the thought process behind his resignation. He said it was best for him to step down before being hounded out of office. This way, Mr. Nyantichi said he hoped to avoid being remembered solely for that bad thing. He added that he will still thank God for his career after resigning from the GFA, CAF and FIFA. Mr. Nyantichi was the second most powerful official in African football. As well as a member of the FIFA Council, ironically as GFA president, he made it a point to declare war on corruption. And as the author of the investigation that outed Nantichi has further filed a petition with FIFA to issue a lifelong ban on the ex-GFA president, what does the future hold for Ghana football? Will the latest hype be enough to root out the rot in our football sector? If the GFA is dissolved, could FIFA ban Ghana from international competition? Subscribe to Yen's YouTube channel to receive timely video updates like this one.